A quick video to follow up on my testing for acquired von Willebrand's disease. I'm happy to say I do not have it. Very relieved. And um, when I was, I guess, confronted with the idea of having it, number one, I was shocked. I didn't know what it was. Um, and so I went home and I read a little bit about it. I'll be honest, when they put something out there, I don't dive in totally, not always, especially because I've gone through so many different things. What I do is I, I get kind of a guess and say, okay, that, that's kind of, that sounds like it's on the right track. And then I let it be because you got tests, you got all these other things and you got life, right? And when you're in the midst of stuff, if you've got chronic illness of any sort, believe me, you can get tested for so many things and you don't need to go there. So I was very glad that I was able to read about people. I usually, um, how I choose a sports team is I look and say, are they nice to people? Are they good to their families? And are they good to community? That's kind of how I look at, um, you know, a disease or something. Okay. How are people when they're, how are they feeling? How is this? How is that? Not always so technical. Um, so what I did is I read some stories and things and I thought, wow, wow, that is really a rough situation. None of that really occurred to me because I'm dealing with different, um, like a different, spectrum of situ of the situation with my blood being more clotting and whatnot and yes it has changed in its um consistency i guess but definitely not to um this uh von willebrand disease it's pretty rough so um on a good note i was able to learn more about other people different than myself and try and have more empathy for others um also so within this testing they test your proteins um, obviously your clotting time, things like that. So those numbers are still off. It didn't change it whether I'm, you can be tested for something and not be diagnosed with something, but it doesn't mean that you still don't have those symptoms. So technically I still have, um, a little bit delayed, just slightly delayed, you know, whatever. Um, and it is different. So the one test that was kind of like my final and happy test of like, no, you don't have it. The number spectrum went, if you have 30 to 50, I guess, in this spectrum, then they, it, it was, you know, a possibility because acquired is very difficult. It's not something you can really like quickly decide this person has this. So therefore, whatever, they have to actually go through different testings and say, okay, this one, yes, this one, maybe this one on the line. It has to really line up for them. I don't know every single test. I do know that the ones I had, I did have some off and they, you know, obviously they're still off, but they're off. But this is the one that said, okay, you don't have it. And here's how it went. 30 to 50, you can be retested and they will look because there's a slight possibility that it could be off, right? I don't know all the science behind it. Or 50 to whatever and up is no, you don't have it. Okay. 30 to 50, 50 on up. My number was 50. 50, 50, and I will hold that 50 on the upside. So on the positive, I don't have acquired von Willebrands. I still have the same issues, um, but we're going other routes. So that was um, a test so I could take other tests because I take so many tests anymore, but that was very good news for me. And um, I wanted to update everyone because I did say I was getting tested for it and I think it's important to know this if you do have polycythemia vera or an MPN um, there are different things out there that may not occur to you so just be in contact with your doctor be open with them be open to what they have to say it was a different experience for me and I'm glad I went through it and I'm glad that I don't have it and God bless all you people who do have it because it is not an easy one and I'm sorry that you have it because just the little I read and um, I usually look at personal stories. Um, my heart goes out to you. It's a rough one. So take care. I'm wishing everyone health and happiness and blessings. Thanks.